Hey everyone, I'm really glad to be able to bring you uh, today's video. We're going to start with a Google form where we're going to collect information from students. This is very similar to a, a previous video where we had a Google form and uh, we're asking students for their email address. Of course, just a reminder, if you're in G Suite for Education, the email address, uh, if you select it uh, to collect email addresses, it will uh, it won't appear as a question for the students to have to fill in. It will automatically be filled in um, by G Suite for Education. Uh, but then we're going to ask them their first and last name, which class they're in, uh, what day of the week it is. And this is one of these questions where based on their selection of which answer uh, for this question, we'll go to a different section of the form. Uh, and then we have uh, various activities for each day of the week represented by those sections of the form. Uh, so we had covered this in a previous video. We also linked in the responses to a spreadsheet and that spreadsheet is right here. Now uh, just, it's just so you know there are only two responses here so far and um, I actually doctored up and created a whole bunch of responses here in the Google form to use as an example. Um, I wasn't going to actually input all of these uh, these responses. This is how you would input it uh, from this uh, from the input screen, but I, I didn't do that. I, I just I copied and pre pasted and created uh, what will like a simulation of what the Google Form data would look like. So here it is: form responses. This open this is uh, is in a tab in this Google Form, and it has the same name as the. Uh, the form itself. So I'm just going to close out of this and what we're going to work on is we're going to work on sorting and filtering this information because as you can see this is four classes worth of students and this was only given out uh, on Monday and Tuesday. You can see over here the day of the week that question is Monday and Tuesday. And so we already have, uh, because the students were filling this out, we have 100 and 146 responses. So that would certainly be way too many to go through uh, on that Google Form tab, on the responses part of the Google Form, but we can definitely manage things very well uh, in Google Sheets. And so what we're going to do is create a new sheet Generally, when your form response sheet in your Google Sheet is, is not a, a page that you really want to mess around with and you don't want to be typing um, formulas or, or typing over any of these this information that's been inputted um, because that kind of messes with things. Uh, we basically don't want to touch this and we won't be touching this because we've opened up a new sheet here and we're going to use something called a query function. And so the query function is very, very powerful uh, function. And what it says, it's, it's a way of filtering or viewing a large data set in a way that you would like it to be. So there are three parts to the query function. The first part is the data. It's gonna ask you for the cells of the data and uh, just, if you know anything about named ranges, they don't work with the query. Uh, you'll need to actually input the, the cells in the notation for that. Then there is this text string, and the text string is actually a variation or, or part of what they call SQL, SQL language. And with the text string, we can ask the query function to sort the data in particular ways. And then this last one is very easy. This is just about whether how many um, header rows there are on top of your data. Okay, so to give you an idea, so obviously the, the bread and butter of this query function is here. And Google has documentation about the query language. This is a query language reference. And if we scroll down here a bit, uh, they talk about the language and these are very helpful here, the language clauses. You have words like select, where, group by, pivot order. And so today, 
just as a demonstration, we'll be using the select. And you'll notice here is uh, select and then the asterisk. And the asterisk is a wild card, which means select everything. So I'll show you an idea of what that looks like. Let's go back to our Google Sheet. Get away from that documentation. Uh, all right, so we're going to, uh, we, need the, we need to know what our data is. Well, our data is going to be the form responses. Uh, so let's go over here at the top corner. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, shift control right, and then shift control down. And that has gotten uh, that has selected all of these these 100 and, uh, 146 responses. You see, it's gone down to there. Now, in order to make this dynamic, which means there could be more responses that come in after today, we're going to delete this reference to the row number 146. I'm just going to hit the backspace button and just leave it at K. And what that's going to do is that's going to select this entire spreadsheet. Any data that comes in will be will be have the ability to be filtered. So that's a little little hint there. We're starting with the A1 of this form responses sheet, and we're going all the way to to the K column and have no eliminating our row reference. I'm going to hit the comma. Now we need to put this in, it's a string, so it's, a, it's text, so we need to put it in quotes. We're going to say select, and then the star. That selects everything, and we have one row of our headers. We're going to put a one up top, and parentheses, and then hit enter. And what you see is basically this is a representation of what was on the first page. So this one formula has now put all of this information onto this sheet. So let's say here, sorted, sorted data. Uh, so as you can tell right now, we actually haven't sorted anything. We will need to sort something. And let's go back to the query language. And it says select which columns to return and in what order. So as we, you can tell from the Google form, the questions that we had given on Monday were, uh, have you seen the Hamilton musical? That was the question for Monday. The Tuesday question was, how did you find the work on Tuesday? So we don't want to include row H. So the way the, the columns are represented by the letters. So you see up here is A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So what we want to do is we want to type that in here. So let's go back to the formula. Let's erase the asterisk. We're going to say A comma B C D E F and then G. And we'll hit enter. And you see that it automatically removes those other columns that are not that were not given on on the Monday class. Now you'll notice that we also have some uh, Tuesday responses here. So what we can do is we can filter out for Tuesday as well. And with that, we'll need to, let's go back to the language reference. This word, the next clause down is where returns only rows that match a condition. So what we want to do is we want to say where we want to know only the Monday responses. So that is column F where F and let's go back to the language. Let's click on where we have some, some parts that we can use with where. So there's the word contains, starts with, ends with, matches, or likes. So what we could say is where column F contains Monday. So we're just going to type that in, contains, and then we need to use quotes for the word Monday, then end quotes. And of course, we have quotes already for the string itself. I'll hit enter, and it didn't like that. 
let's try that in a different way. Let's just try without quotes. I think maybe it just needs single quotes. Aha, it was single quotes. So that's uh, the double quotes confused it because it was already a text string. It needed to have single quotes. Now you'll see it has just the Monday responses. So we could actually call this page Monday responses. And you see that that's just like that. Now let's open up another tab, another sheet. And how about we drill down a little further and let's, let's try to find Monday period one responses. So let's start the same way. We want to use the query function, query. We want to find our data. Our data is going to be the same as it was before. A1, shift control right, shift control down. Let's remove the row reference to that. That's the comma. We want to select which columns do we want? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I think that was it. Uh, we want to select those columns. Let's just end it there because I, I feel like I want to take a look at that. Uh, and then one row of header, hit enter. Okay, right. This was this is what we have. Uh, so we were we want to use again going back to this language. The word where. So we're going to select all those columns, and it's, we want to say where column F contains, and in single quotes, Monday, and we want to say E contains, and we'll just use the number one. Oops, I need to use single quotes, one. So we're actually searching for two criteria now. Look at that. It worked. This is really, really terrific. So you'll see these are the students in the Monday first period class. I'm sorry, this is the students for Monday from the first period class that filled out the form on Monday. And these are their responses. Now there's one more thing that we can do, um, and actually, if we were to change this up, because I know in particular what I'm what I'm concerned about is the alphabetizing. Here, these are in alphabetic order, which certainly makes it easy to take attendance and and to put uh, information into a spreadsheet because it's been alphabetized, but I know in particular that the sixth period class is not alphabetized. You can see they are not, here's an A and it's in the middle here. So let's just change this down here so we don't get confused. We've changed it to Monday sixth period. Uh, there's another, let's go back to the query language reference and let's go back up to the top. Uh, so we did select, we did where, where we're, we're filtering, and here we are going to order by, sort the row by values in column. So this is the order by, uh, and their, their references here, they actually are using um, a, instead of the letter A, B, C, or D to represent the columns, they're actually using um, they have a the description up here. They're actually using these identifiers for their columns. Um, but our identifiers would be like a long words or, or phrase like, have you seen the Hamilton musical? That would be our, identi our column identifiers. And that's, uh, that's certainly uh, not as efficient. We would just want to use the letters. So let's go back to order by. Order by and we're going to order by um, one of these columns. So let's take a look, go back to our example. 
uh, select all these columns where F contains Monday and E contains six. And then we want to say the word order by, and which column we'll put them in alphabetical order, A, B, C, D will be alphabetical order. Hit enter. And there you have it. They are in order. Now, when you're working with this data uh, and you're working with the query, you're using this function, the query function, uh, this text of the query can sometimes get a little confusing to figure out what you've, what you've put in. And so I want to show a different way of setting this up. What I'm going to do is select all of the text of the query itself. This is a SQL language that is used uh, in database management. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to cut this out. Uh, I'm actually going to delete the, uh, that function. I'm going to paste it up here. All right, so so this was just the what was in the in the function itself, uh, the the SQL part of the of the query function. Let's redo the query function. It's just a different way of setting it up. We need to find our data. I should have just copied and pasted that uh, that information there too. But uh, Shift Control right, Shift Control down. Let's get rid of the row reference. Uh, comma. Now let's go back to our sheet. What we want to do instead of having the quotes and typing the SQL uh, query here, we would just want to make reference to the cell that has this text. And we're going to call that A1 and then a comma and then the number one uh, for the header row and then, so now the query function is actually just a lot smaller and it's a little bit easier to, to read and understand. And you'll see it does the same, it does the same thing. Let's see, so this is period six on Monday and these have been alphabetized. And so if we go up here and we, if we make any modifications to these numbers, uh, I think there's a fourth period class Maybe there isn't. Is there a third period class? Yes, there is a third period class. Uh, if we want to change this to Tuesday, look at that. Uh, it automatically changes this to, to Tuesday. So this might be a little bit of a better way to set up your, your query uh, where you just have a reference to the cell and yet you are typing the text into that cell uh, because at a glance it's it's easier than arrowing down to the formula to the query function itself to see it um, so you can you can have a better idea of of what's happening and you can change the the tab of the name at the of the tab at the bottom to whatever uh, whatever you did you did make sure that they are compatible between what you've typed in here and what you've typed in down here. Uh, also, uh, when we're looking at Tuesday, let's go back to the form responses. So if you noticed on Tuesday, we asked the students how they were finding the work. Let's go back up to Tuesday, up at the top here. And I believe we asked them on Tuesday how they were finding the work. So we asked them on Monday, have you seen the Hamilton music? But on Tuesday, how did you find the work on Tuesday? And so when we go to the, uh, this tab, I actually should rename it Tuesday. Um, so we don't want to have this, this question here anymore. Have you seen the Hamilton musical? So what we want to do is we want to change G and ask about H. So I'm just re replace that, hit enter, and there it is. There is the, how they're finding the work on Tuesday is the answers. So it's very easy once you have the query function set up, especially in this way, that at a glance you can see what information you're asking for um, because of having the reference to uh, 
the, the SQL, the query in, in the cell up top here. And uh, so at a glance, you can, you can see what's going on. I'll leave a link to this Google Sheet in the description below. And when you're there, click the subscribe button, leave a comment about what feature you'd like to see covered in an upcoming video. Take care, everyone.